I... I thought you were dead. My death was... greatly exaggerated. So, you're the punk I've heard about. What's going on, guys? Today is a bit of a special video, because today I'm going to talk about a very specific mod for Monsters of Mortals that pretty much changed mining forever. Well, you already know what mod I'm talking about according to the Mega Mind edit from the very beginning of the video. The mod pretty much kept the game alive along with some other mods, which put the game in a very good state along with its servers in UE4 support. That's until Vincent Living's pulled the plug when he launched UE5 and an Epic Games port into the game as well as putting the game back into peer-to-peer -peer mode. Which limited modding even more, it made it even more frustrating for Eminem modders to work on Eminem mods because it meant that they would have to learn Unreal Engine 5. Now, why am I bringing up FNAF mod in 2024? Well, it's because you guys deserve news after a long silence of nothing. And the new head of FNAF mod allowed me to do this, so here we are. On the first day of April, the FNAF mod counted posted a screenshot of a character select screen with a character that didn't appear in the mod when it was up during when the game was in UE4. Now, there are some people who think this is an April Fool's joke, but there is a previous tweet that was posted way back in August of 2023 that showed Chica in Springtrap, meaning they are working on a UE5 port along with Update 3, which meant this wasn't an April Fool's joke. This, in fact, is actually real. Now, Wither Foxy isn't his own character. At the bottom right, you can see that the Bad Rabbit outfit is equipped, which is a skin for Lucky the Rabbit, which basically confirms that Wither Foxy is a skin for Foxy, who we know replaced Lucky in the FNAF mod for Monsters of Mortals. Now, Wither Foxy wasn't the only thing that got revealed on the 1st of April. If you take a look at the character select page on the screenshot, the FNAF mod icons have seemingly changed, and they look absolutely amazing. Here's a screenshot of the original one for comparison. The new icons look much more high quality, and they even match up with the unmodded icons as well. Now, for those who don't know, the FNAF mod has a new director for the mod. His name is CoolCat5G. If you have no clue who that is, he is one of the bay testers for the glitch attraction, as well as made a Christmas overhaul for the game way back in December. And most importantly, he had some mod experience in the past. So it looks like the FNAF mod is in the right hands, since he's most familiar with both FNAF and Dark Deception. Now, I got a DM from CoolCat, the new dev of FNAF mod, and he sent me some screenshots of the mod that I'm allowed to share. The first one contains two Montes in Academia Assault. Nothing new since Montes has been in the mod before, and it looks like he'll be returning in the UE5 port. The next one shows the portal boxes reskinned into gift boxes. Now the portal boxes have two different variations, one for the mortals and one for the monsters. We only see the monsters version of the gift boxes, which means the mortal gift boxes remain a mystery. The next one shows Foxy and another look at Wither Foxy, which is still pretty cool to look at. I mean, hey, they're just vibing. Now, I decided to show this one for last, since it's very huge. So huge, that will make your brain blow. And it's an image of Monty and Helpy about to 1v1 each other. Well yes, Helpy is returning in FNAF mod, but did you ever think to look at the background? That, my friends, is a new map of Update 3. In the map, we see fake cornstarches, which look very familiar to the ones in the corn maze from FNAF Help Wanted. We don't know if it's actually the cor- oh, wait, hold on. Um, guys, I just got a another screenshot, which is another look at the new map, which is highly confirmed to be the corn maze from Help Wanted, with another look of Spring Trap. But this time, we can see the traps, and it looks like they're plush trap cutouts? Well, I don't see a way to implant the birds into the mod. That is all the updates for the Monsters and Mortals FNAF mod, and now you know the mod is still coming to UE5. And that's about it for me, and I'll see you next time.